Our target was a Katardis colony. They'd taken over a refinery. It was a well-armed facility protecting them from the dead they worshipped. Top priority was to cut off their comms and leave them in the dark. But first, we had to clear out their defenses. was a routine sweep. Every time another sympathizer colony sprouted up, we'd squash it back down. As far as we were concerned, we were doing the world a favor. We moved on the array, but the undead sympathizers weren't going down without a fight. Our support detail needed a few moments to disable the array. Lucky for me, I had more hostiles to keep me occupied. Disabling the comms would take some time. Our support detail dealt with that. I dealt with reinforcements.
station disabled, we had to get back to our bird. The array was ahead. Bring it down, we'd be one step closer to eradicating this colony. The comms disabled, we needed to get back in the air.
With their comms jammed, the next step was to breach the control room to take back the facility. There was access ahead. I just needed to get through the flooded room in front of me. Our support detail insisted on coming with. When you were swimming, something went wrong. Our DNI. There was a malfunction. What did you see? I. I saw. I was drowning. I th thought I heard. This is not your time. Get back up. Do not trust him. Everything is not what it seems. What did you hear? I. nothing. I couldn't make it out. Get. up. Then I woke up. Someone pulled me out of the water. Someone saved me. Saved you? A guardian angel. Someone watching over me. My support detail. She got through somehow and, and pulled me out. She brought me back from the brink. She said it wasn't my time. My work wasn't done. I had to stop Taylor. I don't know how she knew. It didn't make any sense. Did you know her? This woman? No. I'd never worked with her before today. And yet she knew about Taylor. She knew about what happened. And you're sure she was there? What? Why? You think I made her up? You yourself said your DNI systems were malfunctioning. What? You gonna tell me I'm crazy next? I know what I saw. I did not make her up. I didn't fucking imagine her. Did she have a name? Of course she had a fucking name. The Guardian Angel. She said... She said her name was Cain. She told me she helped me through this. She said we had to move. Control was beyond a server room ahead. If we were going to take the refinery from these dead sympathizers, we needed to clear it out. If we couldn't, it would be on to plan B. Plan B? Plan bomb this shithole to hell. prepped to breach, but it turns out our enemies planned ahead. The explosion blocked our path. We had to double back. It caught us off guard. But the noise also caught the undead's attention. We regrouped with our allies. That's Egyptian Army Lieutenant Ziad Khalil, friend of ours. He was durable, seasoned. He defended his home through undead wars. He wouldn't go down without a fight. What was the plan? Khalil would move on control from the exterior. I'd sweep the dead from the air. Our guardian angel accompanied me. She... She told me the answer to finding Taylor was on this refinery. Why she thought that? How she knew that? It was surreal.
When Khalil took the control room, he found something on the security footage. Something we needed to see. Taylor. Mike seeing a ghost. We... we just stumbled upon him. This wasn't just a Cotardis colony. This was Taylor's hideout. They were already evacuating Taylor. We locked down the facility, separating Taylor and his associate, Moretti. Who did you go after? It was too late for Taylor. The Cotardas put him on a VTOL. We'd go after Moretti. Command informed us the kill order was still active. Taylor didn't like that. But it wasn't his call. How did you keep it up? Five years. Five years after our fuck up, and we could fix it. I grabbed it with a shot. just below us. If we were gonna get him, we'd need to take a shortcut. Shortcut? A leap of faith.
How was Hendrix coping with the change of plans? He was upset. And why wouldn't he be? Command wanted our friends dead. He wanted to bring Moretti in alive. But that wasn't all, was it? No, Hendrix... Hendrix had been different since Singapore. In what way? Every way. Aggressive, angry. He was losing perspective. And there... <sighs> Something was just off. I should have known what happened. How could you have known? E even if you had, what could you have done? You seem so certain of his intentions. We all battle inner demons and our choices. Hendrix, Taylor, that whole team rose the ranks together, fought alongside each other. Little did we know one of his friends was watching us. Moretti had locked himself in the security room. Only way in was to cut the power. To do that, we had to overload the generators.
You cornered him. What did Mareji say? He said that name. Same as Diaz. Deimos. He said if I wanted answers, I had to find Damien Bishop, a man we both knew from a past mission. Bishop could help stop Deimos. But first, I had to kill him. He kept saying, this isn't me, this isn't me. He kept saying Deimos made him do it. So I granted his last request. I killed him as he asked. I did our job. It didn't sit with Hendrix. Can you blame him for his outburst? Hendrix was pissed because Moretti was our link to finding Taylor. A link I just severed and split open on a spike. And the guilt I carried all those years that I channeled inward. Hendrix channeled outward. At me. This was our chance to fix our mistake. And I fucked that up. Hendrix said I may as well have damned the world myself. I'd had enough. I knocked some sense into him. Sometimes it was the only way to get through. I told him what Moretti had told me about Bishop, Deimos, whoever the hell he was. The mention of Bishop got Hendrix's attention. Last we saw him was back in 65, 10 years ago in Ethiopia. How Bishop knew Deimos, we hadn't a clue. But we'd figure this shit out, and we'd do it together. But right then, we had bigger problems. The Egyptian army couldn't hold the refinery. Plan bomb this shithole to hell was a go. We had to get out of there. Now! This bishop that Moretti mentioned? Damien Bishop, the man who found the cure. A vaccination to make 6115 victims human again. A cure? Did it work? It should have. Something was blocking it. Bishop had this theory. He believed somewhere there was an undead brain. A single creature controlling them as a collective hive. He believed that it somehow blocked the cure. We met him in 2065 when he made the breakthrough. News traveled fast. He and a few others were kidnapped in Ethiopia. It was a joint op with Taylor's team. We were to extract Bishop from a base overrun by the...